next episode in this garage, we're going to be performing horn relocation on this WRX. No particular reason. I just like things to be tidy, and in my opinion, where they have the horn set out from the factory, it's just a little bit stupid. They got one horn between the headlight and the battery, and one horn behind the grill. It's horns are, you know, they're a necessity thing. You want to sort of just get them out of the way as much as you can. No one gets a sight without a horn. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to move that road horn from behind the headlight and find him a new home. So let's get into it. Alright, so there we can see the horn. Let's give you a bit of a close up of that. So it takes up quite a bit of unnecessary space, including the mounting bracket for it as well. Yeah, so anyway, let's um let's unbolt it now and see about moving it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is um, just cut these wires. I'm going to extend them anyway. All right. That'll save labelling them as to where they go. Alright, so that's the horn out. Now let's see about where we're going to mount it. This one's already here, so I reckon probably mount this one in the same spot but on the other side. It's uh, probably about here. So I think the way we'll do that is to make a little bracket like this original one from the radiator retainer. Just added some aluminium and then paint it black. All right, cool. So there we go. There's a the new bracket made. I've just made it out of uh, three mil aluminum sheet. Let's just check the position of it. So the factory horn is two thirty mil from the center. My new horn is two thirty mils from the center. Uh, up from the Top of the bar, she's about 62. This one is about 59. From the mounting bolt of the aircon, 
score is 100 and this one is 105. So she's almost exactly the same position as the other one. This one's set back a little bit further than this one, so what I'm going to do is just bend this one in a bit. Like that, and I'm going to pop this one out a bit. the same. Alright, so now I'm going to paint my bracket and then I will wire it up. Alright, so uh, time to do the wiring. So I'm just going to use this twin core sheathed cable uh, just because it's got a bit of protection against body rub and it's already black. Alright, so first I need to split the end of the sheet here. Like this. Cut some heat shrink tubing. Put the red on the horn wire with the trace. Now we solder them up. Shrink it. Now I'm going to put a bit of black heat shrink over there just to tidy off the end. So that's the horn and dump. So now let's bolt it onto the car. Right, so let's put a new bracket on there.
run this over over here. Oh, what I might do is just tuck it up there like that. Out the way like that, and then go down here, across to there, across there, through the back where the original one goes. Join it onto the original harness. Use the original harness, so we want it to be about about that long. Now we just give it the same treatment as the other side. What I'm going to do now is just add some split conduit. Like that. And now we just tidy it all up. Let's give them a try. <coughs> yep, all good. So here we go. You can really see how much extra room we've got here now in front of the battery without the horn. Now, if you really wanted to, you could cut this bracket off at the bottom there and you'd have a whole big open area to mount anything you wanted. So, cool guys. There it is. A new horn mount. The horn mounted in there. So now we can put the headlight back in and put the grill back on and she's good to go. So there it is, tucked in behind the grill, and the other one. So that's it, all finished. So there we go, got a horn relocated now, got a lot more room in front of the battery for front and in the cooler piping or whatever. Now before you go and do something, like paint these bad boys red so you can see them in behind your grill, Ask yourself, what would Dominic Toretto do? He'd probably paint them red, so definitely don't. Come on, guys. They're horns. Anywho, that's it for this episode of Nev's Garage. As always, 
thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. See you next time. Dumb!